Lesson 0 3 factoring polynomials. Number 1 12x squared plus 4x. Well, you need to find common factor of each of these terms first, you know. 12 and 4. So the biggest number that this 2 share is 4. And then x, the biggest x that it can give, that share with these two terms is x. So you have 4x out, so what will you multiply to make 12x square? So 3x. So what will you multiply to make 4x? So 1. As simple as that. Same number with this. 6 and 2. The biggest number that these two share is 2. And then for the variable, they can share only 1x. So what number, what will you multiply to make a 6x square y? So multiply by 3xy. 6x square y. So what number will you multiply to make to make 2x? So of course 1. This one, you do the same thing. Uh, find the, the greatest common factor of 8 and 12. So seems like they share 4 together for yes 4 and then for variable they share a and they share b okay this what number will you multiply with 4 a b will becomes 8 a b square so to make 8 multiply by 4 and then a is already half and b b square so you need one more b if you multiply inside you have 8 a and b square this section to make 12 uh, this uh, should be negative I'm sorry negative to make 12 you multiply by 3 and then a b it already has a b here so when you multiply this inside you will have 4 or 12 a b so the answer 4ab of n close parenthesis 2b minus 3. This section we have three terms. This is how you begin with x squared, you write x, x. And then now think of this number. What number multiplies together you uh, can make 4? You can have 2 times 2 or 1 times 4. So it's one you have left if you have two times two, they two if two and two, they somehow cannot make five. But if you multiply one four of one and four, they somehow can make five. So one and four. How do they make five? One plus four. So that's how you begin with this. This this uh, way you can work with number five and number six. But when you encounter problems like in number 7 you have 3 y square, you have another coefficient well, look at this number, coefficient with x square is 1 coefficient with y square 1 coefficient of x square 1, but this number is 3 number 8 is 7 and the number behind uh, that follows kind of big number and it's hard for us to really uh, find a way to move faster so Assuming that you're using calculator, let me show you the way of doing this kind of problem. Bring in the calculator first. Let's set up the mode. Okay, you go to set up mode and choose number 5. And then choose number 3. Here we go. Okay, A value, B value and C value. Let me tell you what uh, this value belongs to. Mm. Okay. Now the number with y square, the square is the a value, number with the y is b value, and the number by itself is the c value. So before you try to factor this number, first of all, you need to look at the coefficient first. Does it share common factor? 3, 
13 and 4 does it share any common factor they do not share any common factor so once you know that then you proceed to inserting the value so a which is 3 in this case press equal and then b 13 press equal and then c4 press equal and press equal again you have your first answer here now you should open closed parenthesis like this first and write y write y now looking at the answer is a negative answer for one of the answer x1 give negative answer so you put positive and then the 3 here belongs to y so you have 3y and then 1 right here belongs to the number this this side so put 1 press equal again you have another answer this positive or this negative you write positive 4 so now our factoring is done really easy and fast with calculator like this you know number 8 Now number eight, let, let me press on and press equal. Uh, sorry, on and press AC to go to default mode again. First, looking at the number if they share common factor. 7, 51, 14. 7, 14 they share, but 51 do not share anything with 7 or 14. So they do not share any common factor. Then 7 is the A value, press 7, equal, 51 for B, equal, and then 14 for C, equal, equal again. Okay, now, before you write this answer down, you open and close parentheses first. Now, this is minus, so you write positive. The number down here belongs to the first term in this side. So you have 7x. Number up here, which means the numerator, is the side. Press equal again. This is minus, you put plus. And x, and then 7. So as simple as that, let me bring you furthermore to the other problems. Okay, more problem to do. Number 9. Number 9, you see x square 28 and then 32. 3, 28, 32, they do not share any common factor. So... Uh, you can begin right away. So I press on, press AC to go to the form mode. Let's work with this number. So A is 3, press A, uh, press 3 equal B28, 28 equal, and then C32, 32 equal, equal again. Okay. So let me open close parentheses first. Well, uh, this is x, so this is positive or negative? You put positive. This one belongs to the first variable of the x. 3, so you have 3x. And then plus 4. Press equal again to get to the next term or next uh, factor form. You will have x. This is po negative, put positive. Eight. I hope you can follow up with this one. Okay, another numbers. Let me work with you in number number thirteen. For number thirteen, we have six, fifty, and sixteen. So they somehow do share common factor. 
So I believe it is two, which is the biggest number that they, they do share. So two, write two down. It's in the share command. And you see, you have two of variables inside A and B. Do not get confused with this. Just follow the same process. And let's begin. Okay. Now A value is 6. B value is just 50. And then C value which is 16. Press equal again. Okay, now the, the denominator is belongs to the first variable, which is a. And please not confuse with the sign here. This is negative. You put positive. And three belongs to a. You have three a. And one belongs to b. You can put one b or just b, like this. You press equal again to get the second answer. So this one is belong to B. So you put A, this positive or negative, you put positive, and then this belong to the B. So you have A, B. Did you follow with this? I hope so. Now the other numbers that I think we share the same way. They have nine twenty four sixteen now. Okay, one more number in number eighteen. We have two variable A A B a and B, so I think the same the same process with number thirteen, but this number doesn't have any common factor like two here. They have common factors. You have four, twelve. There there is common factor, but nine, no, they don't belong to any of these two these two numbers. So, in short, four, twelve, and nine, they do not have any common factor. So we proceed right away into fact uh, in, into factoring. Form. So open close parenthesis like this. Four for a value, twelve for b value, and then nine for c value. Press equal again. So you have the number down here. It belongs to the first variable, which is a. So you have two a. This is negative, you put positive, 3 belong with B, so you have 3B. Press equal again. Okay, it seems like we have one factor and they, the other factor, they do share the same, which means they are identity with the first one. So, well, I didn't expect this to happen. It seems like I thought there's going to be another factor which is different from this one, first term. So it seems like they have one of this, but two times. So they have another one, A, B, plus 3B. Okay, it's happened this way. I didn't expect that to happen. Anyway, I hope you can catch up with me. Okay, now for this term number 19 all the way through to number 24 this problem has only two terms I think this one calculator will not have you anymore but you, there is a formula for you to, to follow a square minus b square is equal to a minus b factor with a plus b now let's begin by applying the formula Number 19, x squared is a square, see there, but 12, but this b squared is 114, but if you transform this one into square form, you will have this one at 12 square. See, now you have a square, b square. So to factor this one, you just follow the formula, a which is x 
minus b which is 12 in this case and then another one x plus 12 see as simple as that number 20 oh no let me do number number 21 this one you can write this as put 21 first write this one as 4 y and square minus 1 square so now you have this 4y is the A section and then 1 which is the B section. So when you follow this one, A with this one, B with this. So our answer will be 4y minus 1 factor with 4y plus 1. See, it's not so hard to understand. You can follow the same style with 36. You can write one as 6y raised to square. You can write this way for 23. You can write as 6y raised to square and then minus 4 square. And then you can follow with the formula, you know. A this one A, this one B. So you will have 6Y minus 4 factoring with 6Y plus 4. So as simple as that. Let, let me give you the last number. Let's say number 24. In number 24, 9A square you can write this one as 3A square and you minus, this is 49B square, you write this one as 7 b and square so you can have 3a as the a section and 7b as your b section or you can write your answer as 3a minus 7b and then factor with 3a plus 7b this is the end of our discussion in this section i hope this will help you to understand more of how to do the problems And I hope you will spend some time to watch this video, please. Make sure you master this lesson, especially with the calculator. If you can do it well with the calculator, I think that will help you a lot and save you a lot of time to do the work. Good luck. Okay, lesson 0-4, counting techniques. Look at the question together. They, they want us to use the fundamental counting principle to determine the number of outcomes. Question one, as you can see, how many different combinations, okay? If you try to use uh, the number of sandwiches, size and beverages, if you combine all of these together, how many different combinations can we have? By applying the counting techniques, you simply multiply the number, the possible number of sandwich, multiply the, by the possible number of size and multiply by the possible number of beverage. So this one, you have one, two, three, four, Five. So you have 5 multiplied by 3 and then multiplied by 4 all together 5 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4 you have this one as 60 combinations so you have 60 different combinations of sandwiches size and beverage question number 2 okay this is a multiple choice question you have 5 multiple choice question and each of the questions you have 4 possible answer which is A, B, C, or D. You have four possible choice for each of the five questions. So to find the different ways that the student can answer the question. So question one has four possible. Question two has four, four possible. Question three has four, four possible. Question four has four possible options. And question five also has four possible options. So if you want to apply this together, you will have a one... 1024 different ways that a student can answer the question the five question multiple choice so 1024 ways of answering the question number three how many different ways can he select his attire for prom okay looking at the the given okay he has chosen he has chosen his jacket so he has one choice of jacket and then three different types of pens okay three different types of pens and six 
different colors of vests so multiply together so he can have 18 different ways he can select his attire 18 of them number four number four look at the question how many different gloves are possible okay you have a this is the option that we can have the possible of size we have four possible type of position have three possible of materials you have two and the levels of quality you have two so you simply multiply by the possible outcomes of this uh, option together so four times three times two times two all together you will have this as 48 possible gloves okay i'm not going to discuss you more with the number five to number eight p of six taken three p of seven taken five c of four taken two this is uh, obviously kind of very easy for you to solve the problem because it, uh, they already give you what the permutation or the combination you just simply apply the formula or if you have calculator with you you have an easy time to do this work now I am going to discuss more with number 9 all the way to number 17 each of this number you have to answer to that you determine whether the situation represents the permutation or the combination then solve the problem looking at this one together Chalita wants to take six different classes next year assuming each class is of each period how many different schedule could she have okay looking at this situation together this is a permutation because you have first second third no period and go so on so forth so when there is an ordering like that it belongs to permutation so the answer is permutation so it seems like this is a permutation of six taken six so you have a p permutation of six taken six so you have this one as 720 possible uh, the friend schedule could, she could have so to write this one down this is a permutation and to solve the problem this is a permutation of six taken six it will give you a 720 different schedule she could have number 10 how many four color group could be selected from 13 different colors okay this is a combination you know there's no ordering as in first color second color or, or ranking just simply a combination of colors 13 colors and combination so represent by c so the first answer you write as combination and then solve the problem combination of 13 colors you take in four so let me do this for you a com a combination of 13 taken 4 give you 715 different colors so equal to 715 this answer of the combination of 13 taken 4 number 11 how many ways are there to choose the winner and the first second and the third okay uh, contest uh, third in a run contest in runners up in a contest with 10 finalists all right so this is you have first second third you have four of them as first second third you have three and the winner is another one you have four so this is a permutation since there's an ordering for second third and the winner and among them you have all i mean all of them is 10 so this is a permutation 
of 10 finalists and you've taken 4. So, a permutation of 10 taken 4 is equal to 5040. 5040 different ways of choosing the winner the and the first second and the third number 12 a band is choosing three new backup singers okay three new they're choosing three new backup singer for a group of 18 who try out how many can they choose the new singer how many ways okay this is another combination this is a com combination because there's no such thing as the first singer, second singer, you know, in this case. You just try to ran randomly select 3 out of 18. So, combination, and then to solve the problem, is the combination of 18 taken 3. So, if you solve that, you will have this as 800, equal to 816 ways of choosing the new singer. Now, go down to number 13. Number 13, how many different two topping pizza can be made if there are six options for topping? This is a combination again. I think combination of six taken two. Combination of six taken two. So you have 15 different topping pizza. So, answer the question. This is permit uh, combination, and a combination of six taken two is equal to fifteen. Next number, number fourteen. How many ways can the manager of softball team choose player for top four sports in a top four sport in the lineup if she has seven? Possible players in mind. So the top four. So obviously there's a first, second, third, and fourth. So this is a permutation. So permutation, and among the seven players, she will choose four for lineup. So permutation, permutation of seven players, and she will take four of them. How many ways can she possibly choose them? You solve the problem. Permutation of 7 taken 4. It will give you a 840. 840 different ways the manager can choose the players for the top 4 sports. Number 15. As the department store has 9 employees available to cover 4 different sections of the store. How many different ways can the employers be assigned? Okay, it seems like if they were being assigned to a certain place, they are not randomly selected them, but they were being assigned to a certain place, a certain position. So this belongs to permutation. So this is a permutation, and so the problem, permutation of nine employees, and they've taken four of them to cover four different sections. So, permutation of 9 taken 4 will give you a 3024, 3024 different ways that the employees will be assigned. Number 16. For number 16, Jack has a reading list of 12 books how many different ways how many ways can he select nine books from the list to check out of the library not 12 books many ways selecting the books so this is a combination like I said there is no first book second book to be read you know to randomly selected so this is a Combination, combination of 12 books 
and he will select nine books out of twelve. So again, the situation is a combination, and to solve the problem, the combination of twelve books taken nine that will give you two hundred and twenty ways that he can select nine books from the list of twelve books. Okay. Last number, number 17. Alright, this is kind of challenging to you, I think. Let me try to have you a bit on this. A B is registering a website and must select a six character password. Okay, a website has six characters. The password can contain either letters or digits. Letter or digits. So you have 10 digits and 26 letters. Together we give you a 36 character in this. So you have 36, keep in mind, because you combine six, you combine letters and digit. So among, so which means your password have six character. Among the six characters you could have digits, you could have letters. We do not know which one it is but uh, Abby used that combination to make six character password now question a how many pass how many passwords are possible if characters can be repeated how many possible okay so this is so it seems like you need to work a little harder on this section and it give you it might give you a big bigger big number on this part and let me try to work on this with you together so this is six character password so question a you have two section how many password possible if the characters can be repeated another question if no character can be repeated so you have to answer to this one. So the first section first. The character can be repeated. So as you know before, there are 36 characters together, the digits and letters. So since you, need, since you the password contain uh, has six characters. So the first character choose among 36. And since it is not repeat, uh, since it can be repeated, second character also choose among 36. And then the third character choose among 36, choose among 36, and choose among 36. Let me count the term first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1 more. Multiply by 36. Now once you multiply this, you will have the first section of question A. The number of passwords that are possible if characters can be repeated. Now, if no character can be repeated, which means that one choose it, it will not appear again for the next character. So, you will have for second section, you will have 36 multiplied by 35, multiplied by 34, multiplied by 33, multiplied by 32, and multiplied by 31. One, two, three, four, five, six character. When you do this, you will have your answer. The number of password when the no when no characters can be repeated. Or you can simply work this one as a permutation of thirty six. I think this is taken six. that will give you the same number as you multiply this together you know so permutation of 36 you take in 6 because 6 character will give you this many password you, know. you count it now question B how many password are possible if all characters are letters Okay, now if all characters are letter that can be repeated, let me answer the first question first. If 
now you know uh, it, this time they give a restriction that the password are all letters and they are repeated so since they are all letters so now it, it will bring down the possible num possible choice to 26 so you have 26 26 26 26 1 2 3 4 26 and multiply by 26 again 1 2 3 4 5 that will give you the possible numbers of password if all the characters the six characters are letters that can be repeated that's the first section second section if the password must contain exactly one digit okay now this time if the password if the password must contain exactly one digit which means that now they could have all letters but among the, uh, among the six characters one character will be digit and the other five is the letter so how many possible passwords are there with that combination which means you have five letters and one digit in that password so let's try to bring down the possible uh, the, the format of the password first so the format of the password you can have this one to say the first the first the first one is letter you know you have letter if the password contain one digit okay they are repeated so you have letter 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 letters one two three four letters which when you choose among 26 26 choose among all the 26 and you have one digit which is choose among the 10 digits one two three four five six six characters password five letters and exactly one digit as mentioned in the question so this is the format of the password with one exactly one digit or the, the, the digit could move around this is one option that we could have or the, the digit could be right stay here or the digit could be somewhere here so you have another option could be here or the digit could be somewhere here or it could be here it could be this or it could be this one so it seems like that we have six possible format of this password with one digit so you simply just work on this one first so simply if you work on this you will have 26 raised to 1 2 3 4 raised to 5 and multiply it by 10 this will give you the uh, give you the first uh, the first format the number this will give you the number of password in the first form, format of the one digit format so once you have this you multiply this one by 6 because since the, the, the digit can move 6 times you know 1 2 3 4 5 6 so position of digit could move around 6 times so you use the format of the first one when you once you find the number of this possible number of password and then you multiply and you get that this answer multiplied by 6 because this 6 time then you will have the possible number of password that contain exactly one digit so let me write this one for you you just simply 6 multiply by 26 raised to 5 times 10 multiply together you will have your answer the number of possible outcomes or password that contain exactly one digit now which type of password is more secure so which type is it is more secure now to answer the question you have to find the number of each possible outcome first so among these two, well, I will not show you which one is bigger. You need to do this one by yourself and try to find it out. But let me tell you this. The, the more the choice, the, 
the more possible password, the more it's secure. If you have less password, you no. Know, for example, if somebody want to guess your password, if your password just have two choices for them to guess, they're more likely to guess it right. But if you have more choices, like like if you have hundreds or thousands of choices for them to guess from that, your password is more secure. So which means that the higher the possible, the, no, the higher the number of possible outcome of the password will give you, the, will give you more secure. It is more secure than the lower possible number of password. So looking at this format, I do believe that this one will have I mean, will, uh, this one will have a bigger number of possible password than this section. So to answer this question, this is more secure because it has more possible password than this section. I hope this explanation will help you a bit to do the work and you hope you will not get lost while you're doing your work also. Because sometimes the question might go around, it might change to seven character uh, down to four characters or five character or password you should know the way so once you know the way no matter what they change with this character or the password you will be able to do the work i hope this will help you good luck